Good morning, Bug. You get a haircut today. He's so excited. It's vlog 99. Can you believe it? A uh, hundred, hundred vlogs. Crazy. Um, before we get started today, I wanted to throw out uh, a concept, an idea that I want you guys to kind of think about today. Um, and that is that, you know, quick Bible reference. Sorry about this. It's a scientific thing. It's not a, not a religious thing. But um, Adam in the Bible labels animals, uh, gives them names. And, and the reason that he does that is because we give names to things in our lives. Uh, we look at something and we determine whether it's cool, whether it sucks, whether it's good, whether it's bad. When you look at something, we generally give it that label when we react to something. It's an unconscious reflex. And what we want to learn to do is to become conscious people, people that are aware. So then instead of just randomly giving something a label and reacting to it, but you're actually asking yourself, what do you want this to be for you? So that it empowers you, it makes you bigger, greater. Have, I've had way too much coffee this morning. So when you give something, when you label something or give a name to something, uh, it's a choice that you get to choose what this thing is for you based on the fact that you want to feel good about it and you want to have an amazing day or an amazing life or amazing relationship. And that's, that's the blessing of being a human being. We get to do these things every day. We get to choose. The question is, will you choose you right there? Choose wisely about your day. Uh, you make your day awesome by saying that it's going to be, by choosing the right words that empower you and not focusing on things that bother you or the, the, the challenges of life. Let those things go. Don't worry about those things. Just get to it, do your thing, and, and give the name to things that you want them to be so that they're awesome. Today's gonna be awesome. We got all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, we are going to see Mission Impossible Rogue Nation uh, because I heard it's so good. Bug is gonna get a haircut. We're gonna go see a movie. But we're also gonna have lunch with our with our kids. Uh, it's gonna be an awesome day. Join me, it's Blog99 right now. All right, it looks like Bug got out of his uh, haircut because Kathy, Kathy's back has given her a little bit of trouble. And that's hard to do when, when, uh, when it hurts. So I'm walking up the street now to get the, the Evo because uh, there was no parking yesterday. And then we're heading down to go have lunch. It's gonna be cool. Now this Evo does not have a backup camera. It's the only thing that's missing. It really needs that because you get to rely on those things. And I find myself backing up into different areas without even looking back or using the mirrors at all just because it has a backup camera. Uh, this car or the next evolution, which I guess would be 9 or 11 or 20, I forget what it is, uh, it needs that backup camera. Please. Oh yeah. We, we know what that's for. Thanks a lot. What's up, my friend? Hey, another day in paradise. That's right. Hey, Tim. The best dive shop on the planet. We know this already. Well, yeah. Thank you. But what do you have? What do you have going on in the summer? What? Why should people come in the summer? You know, the diving's been great. The water's warm. We're seeing all kinds of animals that we don't usually see up here. We're seeing sea turtles and wow. stuff like that. That's great. Uh, we've really? got boats going out to Catalina and Anacapa. We just had a boat yesterday where they were diving with uh, harbor seals. Oh and, man. Uh, yeah. Kathy fell in the water off her paddleboard and, and into a, a feeding frenzy. <laughs> that was not good. So you won't do that with Live this guy. To tell about it though. Yeah. yeah she yeah. survived. Really sus. Okay, we got our, our dive slate. Right. And you'll find out why tomorrow, tomorrow's vlog. 
but uh, if you do come up to Malibu and you want to hang out in the water, uh, you got to go by and visit Carter at Malibu Divers because it's just a great dive shop and it's been there forever. Oh yeah. I think he actually invented diving. I think so. <laughs> Topless maids? Can you imagine hiring a topless maid? No. You like wouldn't get any work done. You'd just be sitting there drooling, you know. What about top? Yeah. What about what about Chippendales maids for you for the ladies? That whole idea is stupid. <laughs> it is stupid. I think that we should have a maid that wears a uniform down to her knees and like big old shoes and socks, and she's That's from no like fun. Russia. <laughs> and her name is Helga. Yes. And if uh, if you don't get out of the way, she whacks you with the with the broom, the cleaning utensils. Yeah. City, uh, outside the Arc Light Theater. Uh, we're going to go see Mission Impossible shortly, but we're going to go to a restaurant called Life first. Um, they have all sorts of options. They have a vegan menu, though. They have a vegan as menu. Well as meat yeah. For for those that 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 still eat meat, they have stuff for you too. But it's it's called Life L Y F E, and we're meeting the, our kids there. To chow down. And we're gonna rock and roll in that movie. Just because we can. We are now hanging out with these guys who are getting married. They're getting married, but uh, not anytime soon. We're gonna eat first. Is it spicy? Got it now. Wow. Looks good. Yeah. Mission Impossible. Our mission to go in the theater and actually like it. Okay, what'd you think? Oh, it was awesome. The story, the story was really good. It kept me guessing the whole time. Is it the best one? I don't think I saw a Ghost Protocol. Okay. Which one, was, which one did you like the most? I think I liked this one out of what I saw, but yeah. I didn't say Ghost Protocol and people said they really liked that That one. was good. Number yeah. two was good too. But this yeah. was really good, so Kathy liked it. Yeah. <laughs> Keep you guessing, high action, definitely. Yeah. Saturday afternoon traffic. We are heading back to Malibu now. Uh, great movie, great to see the kids. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, it was fun. We talked some wedding stuff. Uh, everything's coming together. They, it looks like they're getting married in Napa, which is north of San Francisco. Yep, Napa Valley. And if, any, wine country. if there's anybody up there in Napa that uh, um, does something cool for weddings, let us know. Let us know. Wrapping up vlog 99. Oh my god. 99. That means tomorrow. Well, we we got to think of something to do.